is the most wonderful time of the year. And I have a lot of mice. So we're going to be counting how much all of these are worth in a 2021 mouse roundup for my collection. So yeah, let's get started. Do keep in mind that this is just a rough estimate simply because prices do fluctuate a lot throughout countries and throughout the year. So what you might have gotten your mouse for, I might have gotten it for a different price. So yeah, cut me some slack, thank you. But yeah, to make it a bit more fun, I'm gonna be rating the mice as we go along as well. So yeah, Polish Sim 2 Wireless is an S tier mouse. I believe it's $110. Hardy S Ace Wireless is 125 I think that's what I got it for. This is also an S tier mouse, it's very good. Steer Series Airwrap 3 Ghost Edition is a B tier mouse in my opinion. Shape's pretty bad, feet's pretty bad, but whatever. I'm not gonna. This is not a review. Let me just shout. Okay, um, this mouse is a hundred dollars, I think. Um, give or take something, something along those lines. Piranha Mouse Mods, I think, is two hundred and fifty dollars. Three D printed mouse, C tier mouse, not really the best. Bit too overpriced. Right, my G Pro X Super Light, uh, which has been modded to absolute hell, four hundred bucks. I remember that very, very well. This is an S tier plus 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 mouse. My tryhard uh, reskin the uh, Ultralight 2. This mouse took me $300 to get my hands on. I would say this is also an S tier mouse. Comper Air, $130 if I'm not wrong. Uh, S tier mouse, very, very, very solid, very, very good. G Pro Wireless, in my opinion, still an S tier mouse because, you know, just because the Super Light exists doesn't make this any worse. But yeah, G Pro Wireless, I believe, is $100 now? I'm, I might be wrong. Hardy S Ace Wireless Open Source, I have no idea because the price is not out yet, but I'm gonna make a guess that it's $100. $30 because this was 120 so you know I this will be 130 since it's just a plus version of that. Mall O Wireless which is charging right now I think it's $79 this is a A tier mouse I've changed my mind on it video soon. Uh, Kane 12102 I don't know what this is I forget. Uh, this is $40 I think on average it's just that you can't get your hands on it but if you want to count aftermarket prices it's like 90 but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna count that. Starlight 12 this is a uh, $500 I'll put it in the mid range because I know people sell this for 800 people sell this for 300 I'll, it's it's a bit of a mess I'm just gonna put it in the mid range and say 500 this is an A tier mouse the tensioning fucking sucks. All right moving on to the worst mice Oh god, we have a lot to go through. The regular Cone Pro is $70 and is an A tier mouse. The MM720, this is... I don't know how to rate this. I'll give this a D tier. And I believe this is only... $30 sometimes. I'm just gonna say 30 because I got this only for 50 SGD, which is 30 USD. Just yeah, conversion rates. Okay. Final Mouse Starlight. Uh someone was actually selling this for a thousand dollars, but obviously it's not worth that much. I would say probably about 400 or 500 is a good estimate. I'll stick to 500 because you know, Final Mouse, it's, it's about 500 give or take for almost all of them except the Ultralight too. This is a GX Air Wireless, it's like a D tier mouse. Uh, I think it's like a hundred dollars as well. Uh, this is the Shroud Edition, oh my god, this is to me a B tier mouse because the shape just doesn't fit too many people. Um, and I believe this is $140, I might be wrong, I'm just gonna say $140 to be safe. Alright, this is the Deluxe M800 which I remember is $40 uh, on average because the price does fluctuate a little bit as well. The Rocat Burst Pro, I cannot remember how much this mouse costs. I'm gonna make a rough estimate at around $45. I'm just gonna say 40 because that's how much the, uh, the cane costs. So the Deluxe M700 and M700A together they cost about $30. Uh, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna rate those mice. Hyperx Pulse Firecase is a B tier mouse in my opinion, A tier if you like the shape. This is currently $38, but the actual price when it's not on discount is about $49, so it's gonna round it up to $50. So yeah, the Razer Naga Hex is like a $20, $30 mouse in 2021. Uh, this is like the F minus G H Z tier mouse, it's terrible. Rygar 2 Fantech, ah uh, shit, <laughs> F tier mouse definitely. I believe this is like $30, which is one hell of a scam, okay. G Wolves Hadiem, this is $60. I believe it's a B tier mouse, it's not too bad at all. What do we have here? Oh my god, it's Rocket Jump Ninja's mouse. Oh, fuck, where's my cable over, please? This is the Zeiss Rail. This is currently going for, I believe, $79 as well. I think it's the same price as the Mall O. Oh. What else do we have? Okay, the MM710. This is a $30 mouse on average. You can get this for like $20 or like $10 if you look hard enough, but it's like $30 on average. Oh, Razor Viper Mini. Can't forget the biggest mouse of the past two years, the Viper Mini. Oh god, this is a $30 mouse. A very, very, very good mouse. So yeah, uh, I believe that's all. I don't think of anything. Oh yes, right. We have Starlight Phantom coming. Uh, that's a $300 mouse. The price plummeted because there's way too many Starlight Phantoms out there. But yeah, as you can see, I do have 
a slight mouse addiction. I'm just gonna make sure that I haven't actually missed out any mice. I have not. This is great. Okay. But yeah, I'm just gonna flash how much all these mice cost on screen right now. I have no idea how much they cost in total because I will be counting that when I'm editing. But if I'm to make a guess, I would say it's probably about 2,000 or something. I'm probably completely off. But yeah, uh, hope you guys had a very good 2021. I personally had a really, really good time. Thanks to all of you guys. Once again, thank you for all of your support throughout this entire year. And I really hope I can continue to entertain you guys and make you guys happy. That, yeah, I'm just gonna end the video now.